Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm really excited about today's video. Today I'm going to be doing the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. I've never done this before and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see if I could actually do my makeup well without a mirror. Because I would like to think that I can. I would like to think that I am a good enough makeup artist to be able to do my face without a mirror. But um, I'm going to put myself to the test today and see if I can actually do it. So I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet. Um, but yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please take the time out now to do so. And while you're there, press the little notification bell to be notified when I do upload a new video. And yeah, I'm super excited. So let's jump right into this video and I really hope you guys enjoy it. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Hey. Okay, the first thing I need to do is get rid of all these mirrors. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And also the one, if you guys have not, I have a mirror right here. <laughs> there we go. So here it is. I'm gonna zoom in the lens and I'm gonna make sure that I'm in focus and then I'm gonna turn my laptop around because I can see myself just so I can always make sure that I'm in focus. So if at any point in this video I'm not in focus, it's because I can't actually see. So first things first, I'm going to prep my skin with a bit of the Tarte drink of H2O. I want to start with my eyes, as always. So I'm going to prep my eyes with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's so weird because I don't know where to look. So I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I really hope I do good at this challenge. <laughs> and now I'm just going to set that with some of my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and a Mecca Max All Over Eye Enhancer Brush. So as always, we're going to start with eyes. I'm going to take the Tarte Tartlet Palette. I'm going to start with the shade Force of Nature. Oh, there's a mirror that I didn't even notice. Huh? Put that in there. I'm going to close it. And start blending that into my eye. I'm just going to... I'm going to keep the palette that way just so I can't see in the mirror. So far, I feel like I'm doing okay. I mean doesn't feel any different but I'm just gonna make sure that I'm just I keep like going back and forth with this because you can never like over blend your eyeshadow I don't think you can anyway okay next I want to take the shade what's this called natural beauty so I'm gonna take natural beauty on that same brush and apply that into my socket in a way, not having a mirror is somewhat therapeutic. Like I don't actually, I think therapeutic's the wrong word to use, but y'all get what I'm saying. I'm going to take this shade right here from the Zoeva Nude Spectrum Palette on a Zoeva um, 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm gonna apply this to my outer corner and blend it in. This doesn't have a mirror, by the way. Like I, like, I actually don't know where to look. I feel like I'm not even talking that much. But I'm like trying really hard to concentrate. But I can already feel, like with this part, like adding a darker part on my eye, like I'm feeling so nervous. And I, can, I already feel like it's looking like shit, like I can't. I'm just gonna pick up my other brush and make sure that it's all blended. Not that I can tell. Should we attempt a cut crease? Should I take this to the next level and attempt a cut crease? We're gonna attempt a cut crease. Let's do it. I'm just putting a bit of this on the back of my hand. My Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna take a small concealer brush. This has actually become my favorite. It's by Inglot and it's the 22T. And we are going to attempt a cut crease. Like I'm not the best at cut creases anyway, at least I don't think so. Um, so I already know this is going to look like absolute shit. But it's fine. I already feel it. Like it's just, it's not. No, this is, this, I can already tell it's just, it's not looking like a cut crease. It's fine though. It's fine. But I'll just set that really quickly. I'll use some of my um, Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Because I don't want it to start creasing everywhere. Why did I decide to do a cut crease? Just why? Someone tell me, please. I feel like I need someone to talk to me since I don't know what I'm doing. How's that looking? Are we looking bomb? Am I creating the best cut crease you've ever seen in your life? And then, 
We of course want to blend that, so I'm going to take my Zoeva brush and just blend out the edges of that cut crease. I'm actually going to take a bit of eyeshadow from the top palette. I'm going to take the brown shade Wanderer. Oh, I didn't even look. I hate forgetting this thing has a mirror. Well, clearly I need to, but I swear on my life I did not see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to take this super dark shade. It's not the darkest, but you know. I'm gonna add it to my outer corner. This feels so scary. Like I did not expect to be so afraid doing my makeup without a mirror. Okay, I'm gonna quickly blend out those edges. Okay, now I need a color for my lid. And I think I'm gonna take one of the ones from the Zoeva Spectrum palette. I think I want to do this like goldy color right here. Let's grab that and pack it on with my finger. Okay, you guys, I am like the cut crease, cut crease, <gasps> cut crease queen right now. I can so imagine how flawless this is looking. Now, I'm gonna attempt an eyeliner. But first, something that I always do is I always clean up the eye first. So I'm gonna take some uh, micellar water on a cotton pad. I don't know if I have any fallout, but oh, looks like I have a lot of fallout. Oh god, I can't really imagine how this is looking. Eyeliner. Maybelline Master Precise is what we're going with, so let's we here we go. I'm not even like gonna hesitate, just let me just go straight in. Is it even drawing? Oh no, I can already feel that has gone terribly wrong. Oh no, I feel like I just wrecked my eye. I totally just wrecked it, you guys didn't know. Be honest, let me just pause and let me know in the comments just before. Did it look somewhat okay before I ruined it with eyeliner? I can just feel it, I completely just ruined my eye. I hope I can save it with this eye. Okay, done. Beautiful. Next mission is curling our eyelashes and applying mascara. I don't know if I want to stick on any lashes because I don't really want to ruin my eyeballs because I just know I'll get it inside my eye. Okay, ow. So for mascara, I'm using my Inika Long Lash Mascara. This thing is beat. I use it so much. Um, now we are moving on to foundation. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty foundation. He's hoping it still kind of matches my skin. Um, if not, good luck to me. I'm gonna smack it on with a damp beauty blender. I've just popped it on the back of this hair thing. And we're just gonna press it in all over my skin. Legit question. Who is your favorite character in Harry Potter? If you didn't know, Harry Potter is probably my favorite movie series. Would you call them a series? I can't remember the word that I'm looking for. But Harry Potter is one of like my all time like favorite movie collections, if not my all time favorite. And I really wanna know, who is your favorite person from Harry Potter? And if you were to be sorted in a house, what house would you be sorted into? I think that I would be a Gryffindor. At least I'd like to think so. I mean, low key, I think I'm a Gryffindor, but I'm sure my husband would call me a Hufflepuff. Yeah, I think he'd probably put me in a Hufflepuff. In Hufflepuff. But, tell me, if you guys were to be sorted into a house, what house would you be sorted into? Okay, I think we're good with foundation. So what we are going to move on to is I am going to be a real trooper and I'm going to cream contour. We will see how this goes. I was actually going to skip this part, but I've decided I want to do it. I'm going to use the NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick in the shade Caddies, which is a medium dark three. I'm going to think, I think I know this part pretty well. These are the hollows on my cheekbones. I have a pimple like on my right side, so it's a bit meh. Okay, that's that. Okay, I think we're doing good here. 
I think I've got application of that pretty down pat. That felt pretty good. Okay. Oh, and this is very creamy, by the way. Quite like that. It's my second time using it. And we are pushing it in with a damp beauty blender. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty confident with this bronzer right now. So I think it looks okay. Um, I'm now just going to conceal my under eyes. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'll conceal my under eyes and also highlight the rest of my face. But as I was saying, I'm going to keep talking to distract me from this hot mess. Oh, wait, did I apply foundation to my nose? I can't even... We're going to tap that on top of my nose just in case. Because I don't think I did. I think it's okay. I feel like I've applied more of it in the area where I usually don't. Like, I usually keep it right here in the inner corner. But I feel like I've put it, like, completely under my eyes. You guys know I love to bake. So we're going to bake. <laughs> just going to make sure that there is no creases underneath my eyes. I'm taking my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder on my Beauty Blender. So now, I'm going to get a pencil brush. And I'm going to pick up my Tarte Palette. And I'm going to take the light brown shade, I can't see the name of it, and I don't want to try to see it because I don't want to see it. I'm actually going to mix these three shades. So like in the, the second of each row, on a pencil brush, this one is by Zoeva. And I'm going to use that to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of this dark brown, just to darken up. Very close to my lash line. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. I'm picking up my Indica mascara again. Okay. So while I'm waiting for my under eyes to bake, we're going to move on to brows. <laughs> so I'm taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I'm going to brush these bad boys up. I already know I'm going to mess up my brows because I can't do this without seeing. Okay. I never do a lot of my brows, so I'm just going to leave it there. Hopefully that looks on point. And I'm just going to set that with some Benefit Brow Gel. Because, you know, I'm going to keep this on for evers and evers. We're going to leave that and we're going to move on to lips. For lips, I'm first going to line my lips with this Kat Von D lip liner in the shade Lolita. Okay. Oh wait, I need to do my cupid's moon. I already feel awkward. Okay, next we're going into the liquid lipstick. This is um, a power matte lip pigment by NARS. This is the shade Le Freak. It's gonna blend in those edges. Do these colors even match? Like I can't tell. Is this even darker? Like, I can't. And I think I want to apply a gloss. So, this is a really old lip gloss, but I love it. It's by Napoleon Purtis. And it is a shade Kate. That's what it looks like. I'm going to apply a little bit of that. What am I going to do now? Oh, I'm going to dust off the powder around my face. I'm annoyed though because I don't have a pressed powder with me to do that. Um, and I usually use one, you guys know. That's kind of how I always dust off my bake. But I don't want to risk looking into a mirror, so I'm not going to get up and get one. Um, so I'm just going to take my It Cosmetics brush and just like dust it all off. Now I want to apply some bronzer. And the one I'm using is the Too Faced one. I know this has a mirror in it, so I'm going to open it this way. Put my hand on it. And I'm going to use my favorite, a Ray Morris contouring brush. And we're gonna apply these into the hollows of our cheekbones. I'm gonna keep blending this because I don't want it to look muddy. And now for blush, I'm gonna take this one by Astralis. It's called the Show Sun Cheek Blush in the shade Dreamy. And I wanna apply that with a Kat Von D brush. Okay, and just to be safe, because I know that I always end up applying too much blush, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and lightly tap that. And now for highlighter, I am taking this one by Ofra. It's a blush slash bronzer illuminating blush stripes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix like all of these shades, except for the gold one. I think I'm done. Are we ready to see? Let me grab a mirror. Okay, are we ready for the reveal? 
Drum roll, please. Hey! Not bad! Okay, look, it's, it's not a cut crease. We'll say, oh, you know what? Even <laughs> for no mirror, my cut crease isn't bad. Alright, what is this liner though? Okay, the liner is atrocious. My brows aren't too bad. Very impressed. Let me just turn around my laptop actually. Just so I can make sure it's still filming. The foundation is not... Uh, clearly. Clearly doesn't match my skin. Um, yeah. Foundation, I think I've, my skin has gotten a bit paler since I last used it, so foundation definitely does not match my skin. It is a fair bit orange. Um, it's not the worst. Like, I think I could, I honestly think it was going to turn out a lot worse. Even my lips, like, they don't look that bad. Man, who even needs a mirror? <sighs> Seriously. I have shocked myself. I never even got a glimpse of what I was doing. Um, so this is why I'm very impressed with myself. I actually, I'm honestly shocked. But yeah, you guys, what do you think of my makeup? Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you think I did a good job, if you think that I surprised you, if I surprised you, if I didn't surprise you, I would be very shocked because I surprised myself. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, give me a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if there's any challenge that you guys want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I will do it. So long as it's reasonable and makeup related. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If any of you have done the No Mirror Makeup Challenge, leave me a link to your video down below because I would love to see it. And after watching this video, if you decide to do it, tag me below, like leave a link to your video in my comment section and I will watch it. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.